Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. So today I'm showing you guys a closer look at my DIY vanity. If you haven't seen it already, I did completely build this vanity from, well not really from scratch, but I built this myself for under $75. So um, I will put that video here. It's one of my most popular videos on my channel, so check it out if you'd like. I will also link, link everything, like all of the drawers and the tabletop and everything that I used to build this. I'll link it in the description if you'd like to build it for yourself. I'll also try my best to link the mirror and the lights and some of the decor. Everything is super affordable. You guys know I'm the queen of the deals, so I got you. So if you see anything you like, then check out the description to shop. If you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe and join the fam. We would love to have you a part. We Okay, so here is a quick overview of my vanity. Like I said, I did build this for $75 all by myself. It was actually easier than what you might think. And I know since then they have changed some of their prices, like raised them, but you can still use the coupons and still get really good sales. So I will link the page for the coupons and the drawers and the tabletop and everything if you'd like to build it yourself. So these drawers, they actually have little wheels on them. This is the letterpress drawer from Michaels and I have two of them. And then on the top, this is a melamine closet shelf from Lowe's that I had cut. I will have both of them linked down below in the description if you would like to check them out. These always go on sale even though they have raised their prices since my original video. These are constantly on sale and even when they're not on sale you can still use the coupon so keep that in mind. Also my little stool is actually from Home Goods, and I love it. It's so cute. It was about $40. has the fringe and little sequences. It's so comfy and it's like the perfect little height for this. So if you're in need for a stool check out home goods or like Marshall's TJ Maxx they have the cutest ones okay so as you can see I have a lot of lights over here at my vanity and that is because I do my hair and my makeup here every morning so I need to make sure since I don't have a window in front of me that I have that good natural cool toned daylight lighting so that's why I have one two three lights over here so this first light is really cool it is a 10 times magnification LED light it powers on and powers off just with this little button and this thing is bright it gives off such a wow do you see my eyebrow <laughs> perfect for like plucking your eyebrows putting on makeup just all that detailed stuff that you like don't want to miss um, it is on a swivel back here it uses three AAA batteries it has a gooseneck that is flexible and then it's actually on a suction cup so you can twist it to tighten it or twist it to loosen it you can move it farther away from you or closer to you you can literally like move this like 360 degrees and the best part is that it was from Amazon for just under $20 like $19.99 or something like that so yeah this has been awesome and it's great for travel too you can easily just Take this off you can move it around any place in the mirror that you'd like and move it to your bathroom and it's great for travel or on the go you can take it right with you $20 from Amazon oh there's my eyebrow again <laughs> kind of creepy okay so $20 from Amazon I highly recommend this I will have this link down below if anyone is interested and then I have this little mirror which was a TJ Maxx find and it turns on like this it's just not nearly as bright but it's just good to have something like right here in front of me that I can move then these lights I get questions on often they are really like flexible lights that you can put on any surface they do have the 3m adhesive on them and they do come with a little like remote here so you can change the settings so I can make it dimmer or brighter so almost all of my decor on here is from TG Maxx Marshalls and Home Goods like this little fake guy here this was from Home Goods these ones are from Polly they're real I have a little candle a little mirror a lip gloss that broke but I love it so I keep it there um, a candle from Home Goods this is just a marble like box I don't have anything in there um, that's also from Home Goods. This little container here is so beautiful. It's also from Home Goods. And in here, I keep all of my Dazzle Box jewelry just to keep them safe and dust free. This is my cosmetic bag, like all of my daily makeup. If you guys would like to see like a full like makeup routine or anything of the sort, then let me know. And it's just like so pretty. That's from TJ Maxx. Like how beautiful. And then this is actually a Facebook Marketplace find. I thought it was just beautiful, so I had 
had to have it. And on here, I just keep some of my favorite things that mean a lot to me. My little bear that has my name on it. This was actually a gift when I was diagnosed with cancer when I was 16, so I've always held on to that. It's been really special to me. And then hand cream, my favorite lip gloss, Aquaphor, because I have to have Aquaphor. And little hairpins. And then this was my bouquet from one of my best friend's weddings that I was in, so I just keep that there because I think it's so beautiful. So in these drawers is where I hold all of my cosmetics, and I use these little organizers from the Dollar Tree. These are like the really nice acrylic ones that you get for only a dollar. These ones are my favorite. And these ones right here are huge, like they hold so much stuff. So I have two of those in there. Definitely check out your Dollar Tree for these acrylic organizers. They have so many of them. So this is where I have like new makeup that I want to try. This is my little LED compact light that I like love so much. I keep it in here so I always know where it's at. It comes with a pouch and a charger because you do charge it. It's in this beautiful Tiffany blue and you open it up and you touch it on. It's seven times the magnification here and regular here and you can like dim it. It's so nice. I'll link this down below too. This has been like such a lifesaver. I keep it in all my purses and I also use it um, in the morning when I'm getting ready sometimes. And then all of this makeup is makeup that I don't have in my cosmetic bag but that sometimes I still find myself reaching for and using often. So I'll change out like my eyeshadow palette for the day or my mascaras for the day, maybe a different blush for the day or powder. So these are just like my, my second most used items. In here I have all my primers, concealers, setting sprays, bouncy, what are these called? Bouncy blenders, beauty blenders, and blotting sheets. And these are other little containers from the Dollar Tree. They come in packs of like two or four, just for a dollar. And they're so good at keeping you organized and keeping things in its home. And it looks really like nice and clean and white and bright. And then these are just little like glass containers that come in handy. Um, I like to use these too. These are other little containers also from the Dollar Tree that are nice. They come in packs of like two or four. So in here I have all of my blushes, blush palettes, highlighters and bronzers, bronzer powders, setting powders. And then these two drawers are empty. They just have extra little containers in them and nothing in that one. In this first drawer is where I keep all of my eyeshadows and eyeliners. I have eye palettes here on this side. And I use the same containers, all from Dollar Tree. They fit so nicely in these drawers and they look really nice and keep everything organized. Otherwise, it would be such a mess in here. Could you imagine? This drawer, ooh, it's so pretty. This is all of my lipsticks, lip glosses, all my lip balms. I love me some blue sticks. And all of my like most used favorite lipsticks here in these little glass containers that are actually from like Bath and Body Works a couple years ago. <laughs> all looks so good and fits just right. Here is my extra brushes. So like eye brushes, face brushes, travel brushes, all in the same little containers and little glass containers. Like how cute is that? <laughs> And then again, down here, nothing and nothing. So a lot of extra room in here to fit whatever you need or storage, whatever have you. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I hope I answered all of your questions. If I didn't though, leave me a comment and after this video, I will meet you guys right down there. Thumbs up this video if you wanna see more vanity or DIY videos. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Once we reach 100,000 subscribers, I will be announcing a huge giveaway. So make sure you tell everyone to subscribe, share my videos, like them, all the things. I'm so excited for that giveaway, you guys. You have no idea. Also, turn on post notifications so you never miss one of my videos. I upload about four to six days a week. There's always something new. Check out the description for all of the details in this video and any other information that I like need to add in there. And yeah, I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow or the next day in a brand new video. Love ya. Bye.